Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We have already uploaded a series on ComSol Multiphysics for Researchers. In this particular playlist, we will be complementing that series with few more videos that talks about various research related modeling problems and obviously with ComSol Multiphysics. And again, we have subdivided this topic into several subtopics and each subtopics cover various themes. Like in today's topic, we will be talking about rotation, rotational geometries inside the solution space in ComSol Multiphysics modeling. So we have already simulated it for you. Uh, this is a laminar flow physics problem and in the solution space, I have a rotating part. So this kind of problems we frequently come across for rotation, rotating machineries like pumps, compressors. But also nowadays in research related topics, suppose you want to make a mixing inside a channel and you are putting some rotate, rotating object by some external force field and you are trying to simulate it. So in all those cases, this rotational implementation of the rotational geometry is very necessary and that is why we are focusing on this topic. So we will be only talking about briefly about the geometry because we have already uploaded a series on geometry if you are trying to learn it you can go to the i tab i am putting the link there and also in the description box you can go through the entire playlist and that will help you in creation of the geometry however i will little bit talk about how did i create this geometry so what i did is i have taken a rectangle you can see this is the rectangle in the white space I'll show you if you build select so this is the rectangle and what I have done is I have taken a circle two circles basically because uh, I'll show you the entire geometry so I have one outside circle and one inside circle and this part is made by taking union of one circles that is kept outside and two squares I'll show each square so this is the square one and this is the square 2 and then I have taken an union of the circle and the square and that made this particular geometry so this is all about creation of the geometry which is not difficult after you watch my video at least now the thing is what you need to do for the rotating part only you go you have to go to the definition and in the definition if you right click you will have an option of deformed geometry and there you find rotating domain i will be talking about all these things in each and individual videos of this series but today's topic is this rotating domain so which domain we are trying to rotate this inside part we are trying to rotate and that's why if you see in the rotating domain i have chosen this inside part then what you have to do is i mean you obviously you have to tell how exactly it is rotating and for that what i have done is actually i have taken four rotation per seconds so this is the thing i have actually said and what else i have said i have said 0.5 centimeter and 0.5 centimeter this is the coordinate around which it is rotating or it's the rotational axis point why it is 0.5 and 0.5 centimeter because you can see my center is at 0.5 yeah here this is 0.5 and again x is also 0.5 and that's why i have chosen it if you try with different geometry accordingly you have to choose appropriate point of rotation point of the base point then another important thing is uh, see if it is moving if this part is moving it would obviously put a force on the fluid and that will obviously change the flow field however for this particular video we have not talked about that effect we have not taken any external body force or volume force that is coming due to the rotation however in order to mimic the actual flow field we should take that force into account otherwise there is no point of doing it. however this particular video the aim of this particular video is how to make this thing rotate and that's why we have not taken the force into account in some later video i'll take that force into account and we'll try to simulate actual 
force field but today let us see how exactly the simulation went so you can see it is rotating yes in the flow field this object is rotating obviously there is a change in the flow however this flow is not accurate because we have not taken the force into account so you can see it is the rotating part so you can choose instead of this rectangle you can choose any rotating part and you can make it rotate so again uh, briefly i am recapitulating all the facts so what you have to do you have to go to the console interface you have to create the geometry by now you know how to create the geometry then you have to go to the definition right click on it you have to go to deform geometry you have to choose this rotating domain and you have to you have to select the domain you are trying to rotate i have already selected so i am deleting it and then i'll little bit talk about those these options because there are various kind of waves you can define your rotation like these two options you can play around like rotation type what i have taken is specified rotational velocity that is four revolutions per time that is constant revolutions per time so what other options are available there are rigid body option where uh, if you know the inertia of the object then you can actually uh, put this moment you can put moment of inertia and rotational initial angle at what angle initially it escapes so all those things can be given um, this is important for rigid body simulations and say you have user defined in user defined you can put rotational angle but uh, we are talking about specified rotational velocity under this you have many more options like constant angular velocity where you can only define the angular velocity if you know about the angular velocity information you have uh, i have already talked about it constant revolutions per time you have general revolutions per time so this is almost similar you can play around and check all the options available and nothing else i have done i have taken a material that is water inside the solution space i have taken laminar flow one inlet i have taken i have kept some constant velocity at the inlet and the outlet is at the top which is kept at zero pressure i have simulated for one second and obviously after the simulation you get this velocity profile where you can see this is a rotating part so today i am stopping here i'll be uploading more videos on this particular rotation topic till then stay tuned and please subscribe to us for getting more videos.